as we have seen in manual uh, methods even when you move into a more cyber platform the capacity for intervention the capacity for things to go wrong is still sometimes it might be higher than the manual methods how how is that been looked at from a practical aspect and from a legislative aspect um it's been looked at very seriously uh, let me first focus on the practical aspects i'll give you an example i was one of the first lawyers to use a digital diary i won't say how long ago because it it's a long time ago <laughs> let's put it that way and when i started using it everyone is saying oh my god you're putting all your data on the diary what if you lose it or what if it crashes you lose everything so i would ask them what if you lose your physical diary if you lose your physical diary there is no hope in hell of finding it <laughs> whereas mine is backed up on three devices so even if i lose this so i drop it and i break it my data is stored in three redundant systems so that's the same issue everybody has with digitization they say what if some hacker comes in and destroys everything now long time ago i think the mount lavinia court was burnt uh, there's a famous story that pablo escobar hired a terrorist group to burn the supreme court record room in colombia because his case files were stored there so he paid them to attack the building just to destroy one one room and all the records were lost so the danger of losing records exists even today but when it's digital there is a bigger risk so you can have a hacker let's say i put a deed in you can edit it i someone i ask some question from a witness he says yes or no to something you can hack it and make it make an answer different so we are very concerned about that now the fact that that fear is there doesn't mean that you should implement it because it's been implemented worldwide so there are tried and tested security protocols so as long as the solution we are bringing to sri lanka has world class i mean that is one thing we cannot compromise compromise on it has to have world class security protocols plus the people who are doing responsible for backing up have to do their job i mean there was a recent incident where in one of the state entities all the data was lost that's because they haven't backed it up so that because it's expensive so in our solution there will be a budget for backups backups will be redundant isolated more than one backup so if one is hacked or destroyed or there's a nuclear strike even there will be somewhere where the records are kept so uh, that is been looked at very seriously